One of four pub mix boys, Cornelius was born in Toronto, Canada. His other three brothers look like their parents, a family in which the father is a foreign pug and the mother is a pug shih tzu. But Cornelius didn't look like either of them. He couldn't be described as a pug at all. Cornelius was the runt of his litter, a weak and pale puppy who got passed on, probably because people thought he had a few issues and maybe that's how Cornelius the pug got that chip on his shoulder. As Cornelius got older, everyone around him noticed his siblings' perfect health and the people who rejected him. Everyone's so accepting that they were shocked when new people turned him down even after seeing how he looked. One of his problems turned out to be leucism, a very rare condition that impacts dogs and other animals resulting in light-colored coats. Leucistic dogs are often mistakenly labeled as albino, but the two conditions are distinct. And albino animals' lack of color is due to the body's inability to produce melanin. While leucism impacts all types of pigment cells, but results in only a partial loss of pigmentation. His other problem, resting grumpy face. Nobody wanted him. Everyone thought he was sick. When it comes to adopting a dog, it's always better to choose based on personality than physical appearance. If you go to an animal shelter, it's more interesting to tell the caretakers what kind of personality you would like your new dog to have, more so than his physical appearance. The first priority is the dog's personality. Then you can consider other different factors. He could be small, medium, or large with long hair, short hair or white hair, a Nordic Mastiff or Hound breed mix, etc. A dog isn't a fashion accessory that matches your clothes. He's a living being with his own personality, preferences, and traits. He also has his needs too. Above all, a dog needs to be loved and he will certainly return it back. A couple of pug lovers, Tony and a boyfriend, James O'Donnell, already shared their hearts and home with Bounty, a pug Boston Terrier mix. When they heard a family in the neighborhood was dealing with an unplanned pug litter, the pair decided to visit the pups and learned Mr. Cornelius was the only one left. James saw Mr. Cornelius and fell in love at first sight, even though the couple weren't really looking for another dog. Intrigued by the light-colored pup, Tony went home and started reading up on dogs like Mr. Cornelius. She was relieved to learn in the puppy her boyfriend had fallen for likely wasn't sick after all. Some people like Tommy and James if Cornelius is blind or deaf, but he is completely healthy. Cornelius soon received a clean bill of health from the vet. Cornelius had a fast friend in Bowie, and eventually he started finding friends online as well. It didn't take long before the color contrasting dogs were inseparable. After posting pictures of a pigment-challenged pug on her personal Facebook for some time, Tommy listened when friends and family suggested Cornelius should have his own Instagram account. After a couple of months on Instagram, a local TV news group asked Tony for an interview. After Cornelius made the news, more followers flocked to his Instagram and Tony found herself fielding messages from photographers, fans, and reporters. Mr. Cornelius's newfound fame has helped a lot of people because their dogs were actually misdiagnosed. Tony is happy to explain how leucism doesn't automatically mean a dog has health problems and that unusually colored dogs can still be great pets. Although, Tommy has received a few nasty comments online about Mr. Cornelius. The vast majority of people have something positive to say about the photogenic pug. His humans are happy to read his fan mail for him. There's a smile under Mr. Cornelius' exterior and sometimes when he lets it slip, it's a beautiful thing. It's also a reminder that sometimes you can find a world of sweet behind the sars to faces. Bonnie. Bonnie is a dog that had to suffer the neglect and abuse of cruel people. Bonnie is a very kind dog from Romania who lost her snout, part of her left front leg, her tail, and was wandering the streets for a long time until she was found and taken into the shelter. The dog without a nose could not find a family that would give her a new opportunity until the right people appeared. It is not known exactly what happened to Bonnie, but most likely someone without a heart was responsible for so much damage. She was about to be sacrificed after being rescued and taken to the United Kingdom by the Beacon Animal Rescue Center in Canterbury due to her delicate condition. One day, Kate Comfort saw the picture of Bonnie on the organization's Facebook page and it was love at first sight. At first, she had trouble trying to convince her husband since they already had three dogs, but nobody loved Bonnie. For Kate, the fact that no one wanted to adopt Bonnie was a very big impulse to do so. The woman admitted that she felt alarmed by the dog's appearance, but gradually became accustomed to it. Kate and her husband Ross 
began raising funds to pay for a prosthesis for their paw. But the wound on a stump reopened, and the couple realized they were considering undergoing surgery for purely aesthetic reasons. So they made the decision to remove the stump. Bonnie is a very special dog that deserves to be treated with a lot of respect and more because it is an example of life. For them, now it only matters that Bonnie is well and surrounded by love because she is perfectly imperfect and is loved for who she is. On Instagram, he has more than 20,000 followers who love to see photos of him. It is incredible that despite all the suffering Bonnie experienced, she continues to trust people and be so sweet. Animals are creatures that forgive, they never cease to amaze me without tolerant and forgiving they are when they are subjected to cruelty and abuse. I prefer animals to humans. I wish we were more like them. So maybe I'm surrounded by animals rather than people. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Whipper. There's no doubt that pets hold a special place in our hearts, as famous ones like Sam, three-time champion of the world's ugliest dog contest and tartar sauce, Aka Grumpy Cat show us. This includes plenty of room for those that look a little unusual, there are thousands of possible color mutations amongst budgies. It's impossible to count all of them. Still, this bug is a bit different from the others. Meet Whipper the budgie. That's not a meme of some bird, it's real. When you first see him, you may not even realize that he's a bird. In many ways, Whipper looks more like a feather duster. His feathers are long, curly, and fluffy. They stick up and around in all directions, even covering his eyes and beaks so much that it can be hard to find his face. It turns out that Whipper is no ordinary parakeet. His unusual appearance is actually a result of a very rare genetic variation he was born with, which is fittingly known as the feather duster mutation. In addition to his distinctive looks, Whipper doesn't sound like a normal parakeet either. Instead of the cheap, you expect to hear from a parakeet, Whipper makes a striking squeak sound. Whipper's certainly an unusual looking bird, but that just makes him special and he's attracting a lot of attention. There's a sad angle to a story however, Whipper was actually abandoned at birth. His mother's natural instincts probably caused her to reject him twice because of his strange looks. He was rejected by his mother and thrown out of the cage twice, but his owner, Julie Hayward rescued this mopped up lookalike budgie and took special care of him. He became famous not only for his long curly quaffer like feathers, but his vocalization too, which is unusual to his kind. The normal colorful Powerade can be easily found at any pet store and there's no danger of its extinction. They make wonderful pets for many bird lovers, but this mutation in a recessive gene makes all the difference. A normal chatterbox budgie becomes whipper. The feathers grow profusely and even begin to curl. The growth doesn't stop as in normal parakeets. Even as it melts, it will give a rich overgrowth of curly feathers. There are some negative sides of this mutation. No matter how weirdly cute they look, firstly, their lifespan decreases, they may not cross the first year alone. As a result of overgrowth, they lose mobility and approaching capability. Thirdly, vocalizations in contrast from that of a normal budget. Whipper is the fourth kind class under the feather dusted budgies as per an article in the year 2014. He is different from the three budgies because he is mobile and interactive. Apparently, he is blind, but even then, he can do normal budgie things. But for the other three, it seems they would just sit in the bottom of their cage and stare. He is a fighter, I guess, a unique bird. Happily, our feathered friend wasn't left behind. You might say that the parakeet's owner, Julie Hayward, took him under her wing. She made sure that the baby birdie was fed and cared for. Now that he's all grown up, Whipper looks just as striking and visitors to Julie's shop are flocking to see the bird. Julie says that nobody's ever seen anything like him before. Most people are in complete shock when they first see him. They're certainly fascinated by Whipper, who seems to have become quite this celebrity. He's just as physically active and social as any other parakeet, which makes him a hit. The same can't be set for all exotic pets, which includes many birds, reptiles, and less common mammals, miniature pigs, bearded dragons, foxes, pythons, monkeys, sloths, deer, frogs, gray parrots, hedgehogs, and so on. The exotic pets are among the most commonly abandoned rehomed pets. One reason is that exotic pets can sometimes be difficult to feed at home. For example, 
Bearded dragons will eat live crickets if they need to. When you own a pet, chances are that it'll eventually get bigger or more aggressive. This applies to some of the less popular pet types too. Exotic pets have special health concerns and many vets don't know how to properly care for them, which can be a big responsibility for the owner. Some will be great parents, but some turtles can live for a long time, even longer than their owners. We're so glad to see Whipper found a home. We encourage you to consider adoption or fostering. If an unconventional animal just keeps on tugging your heartstrings. Do you think there are other odd animals out there that need homes too? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you like this video. Please give us thumbs up and consider to share it with your friends and family. Thank you.